Hi everyone. Welcome back. My name is Oshina. I am here to wrap up February. I'm going to talk about all of the books that I read and I do have a little book haul at the end of this video too. So I did not read a ton in February. It was a very busy work month. So it is what it is. So I have six books to talk about and I'm at the tail end of one and I am filming this a couple days early just because this is the best time for me to film. I have some updates. I mean, you guys already know. First of all, my friend got engaged and I am the maid of honor. So that means every weekend is spent looking for venues and looking for dresses and planning the things. So that was my prime time to read and film. And that is no longer an option. So I don't know what life is going to look like, but I will find a way. I love this. I'm not stopping making YouTube videos or reading, but you may just have to wait along with me while I figure this out and how to juggle everything. But okay, first book that I read in February is this one. And what a, a, what a joy. Okay, so How to Kiss Your Best Friend, Jenny Proctor. This is not what I expected. It is, it's actually a childhood friends to lovers. So if you like childhood friends, this is exactly this. And it's adorable because he has loved her his whole life. And she has been through it with her family. Her parents divorced and it was a very traumatic experience for her. And she felt very tied down in this small town that they grew up in. So she has never wanted to stay there. So the second she graduated, she left. She's actually a travel journalist, I'm pretty sure. Travel, yeah, travel journalist. And he is a good old high school teacher back in this town. And she comes back because her grandma passes away and the grandma willed the house to her. So she has to come back to like deal with it. And so they reconnect and she still hasn't seen him past being a friend. However, he has definitely glowed up in his age. So she's like, oh, where did this fine man come from? And they have a very sweet time together. And there, there's one scene that was so funny, maybe ridiculous, but hilarious. Okay. It involves a towel. That is all I will say. So if you read this book, the towel scene is very funny. Okay. It's completely clean. There's no language. It was really sweet too. They actually didn't want to have sex until they were married. This is not a Christian book. I don't even know, but I was like, oh, that's amazing. Okay. Cause he's like, I really want to do right by you. Like, I don't want to mess this up. I want to take it slow, but I definitely want to marry you. And that was just so wonderful. So but I gave it four stars, really loved it. Definitely want to read more from this author. So that was an awesome first read. Also, I rainbowed my shelves a little bit and I posted a short. Sadly, the short has no music. I'm very sorry about that. If you want to see it with music, go to Instagram because I posted it as a reel as well. But yeah, I just like wanted to switch up my bookshelves. I was feeling kind of bored with them. So I did that. And then I read Spy Family Volume 5 and I gave this four stars. Um, and I did find myself getting kind of like bored with it. So I've taken a break. I haven't read anything past Volume 5, but I still enjoy it. I, I think Volume 5 is when the dog is introduced or something like that. Or no. Yeah the dog and then like a new character that I think is going to spice things up which is going to be good. Um, then I read A Thousand Heartbeats by Kiara Cass and I have a full-on reading vlog for this book so I'll link that down below and I really enjoyed it. I gave it four stars. It was just like so fun. So basically you follow this kingdom. The princess has to marry this guy to like bond kingdoms together but the guy is like totally lame and she doesn't love him but out of duty she will do it but then she gets captured and the dude who captures her they have like some history there's stuff going on with that and the, and the plot takes off from there and it was very fun um one thing is I don't think it needed to be as long as it was there was a lot of like 
just little scenes that I feel like could have been cut that I skimmed anyways. Basically part two onwards. So it's it's in three parts as well. And each part is almost like 150 to 200 words each. So it's very long. Um, part one was boring. Okay, that's how I feel. But part two and part three were so good. And I was super invested by then. And I really like how it ended. I liked how it all came together. The cave was great. I enjoyed reading The Cave. I'll just say that. So yeah, I'd recommend it. It was clean. It's young adults. Okay. And then I, funny. Okay. All of my reads this month were four stars except for one three star. Okay. Um, so next I, I gave this three stars. Edge of Dusk by Colin Coble. This was extremely random. I was on my library app for audiobooks. I saw this and I was like, okay, I'll give it a go. And I was invested. Like I was definitely bored the first little bit, but it was something to listen to, you know, and I just like kind of pushed through it. But then once I like got to know the characters and was interested in what was going on, I really enjoyed this book and I was actually impressed. To the point where like I was invested in these characters relationships and I wanted to know what was going to happen. So I read the whole thing and I gave it three stars because there's there was definitely like a bunch of parts where I was like, eh, this is not, I don't care about this. But the ending was good. I did read the second book called Dark of Night and I gave this four stars and I listened to this on audiobook too. And I really think that the audiobooks are key for these books for me because of my aversion to romantic suspense these days. But this was unique for me because of the main characters that you're following and the relationship dynamics going on. Wow. I really like the romance, really like all of the things going on there. And I'm into it. I'm, I'm pretty into it. So if you read the description of the book and it interests you, I would give it a shot. Um, there is faith in it, but it's quite light. Like they are Christians and they talk about that and they do pray a little bit but it's very light but but for some reason i'm fine with it like it's not like that brought it down for me i was more so like very invested in the mystery and the characters so yeah i definitely want to read the third book so that was great and then i read memory lane by becky wade and i have a full uh review and reading vlog for this book too so i'll link that down below i gave this four stars I am so grateful that I got to read it. And Becky Wade gave me a copy of it to read and review. So I'm very thankful for that because I just really love her writing. I love the way that she writes relationships and characters together. And this is definitely different for her. Um, the faith was on the lighter side and the relationship definitely, it, it didn't, I do wish there was more faith in it. But I do think that this is going to do well, hopefully in the broader market. And I do think that was kind of her intention. I don't actually know, but um, hopefully it does reach a lot of other people and the faith that is there will maybe stir up some questions. My copy hasn't come in yet. I actually, yeah, I, I'm definitely getting the physical copy. So anyways, I read this as an ebook though, and it was good. So there you go. That's all the books that I read. I am currently reading Husband Auditions, but at this point, I'm only this far into it and I don't want to, you know, rush myself. So that book counts for my reading challenge. So I've already said this to myself. You don't have to read the book in the month that it is. Like each prompt for the months can be read at any point, whatever you want. The point is to read a book. <laughs> so whenever you read it, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I've been trying to follow it, but even now, like, especially with how busy life is, I might not be able to, so that's fine. When I finish this book, it will count for February's prompt. I will link my TBR down below because that explained a little bit more. But here we go, on to the haul. Okay, I, la my last book haul, I talked about the Alaskan Courage series, which is Okay, well, I can show you this one. This is book four. Yes. Um, so I own book one, which is submerged, book four, which is silenced. And literally, I think the same day that I filmed the, the whatever, yeah, book haul and like talked about, yay, now I just need the second book because the second book is also one of my favorites. Like submerged, shattered, and silenced are my favorite in this five book series. Can you see what's coming? 
Value Village coming through. Literally, I found this book. It was four dollars. Four dollars. <sighs> yes. So now I kind of want to read this again. This book is really good. This this one is good, but this one is good too. So now I own the three books that I want to own in this series and I'm happy. So I wanted to say that and yay. So that is, this is the book. Amazing. And then Mr. Sebastian. Sebastian, I've already thanked you, but Sebastian did send me a little Valentine's package. So he sent me If I Live, which is book three, right? Yeah, book three in the If I Run trilogy. And I actually only own If I Run, where, wherever it is. Um, I just changed my shelves and now I don't know where anything is. <laughs> um, but this one can go beside it. And then now I just need book two because it like makes a picture, the spines make a picture and the front covers make a picture. Um, yeah, this is book three. I love this trilogy. This has been on my Amazon wish list for a very long time. And I just have not been able to find these on discount anywhere. Like, I always look for them, but I, I see the first one, but the second and third one just aren't anywhere, which I guess is good because then that means people like it. But anyways, so he sent me this book. So thank you so much. And he sent me a bookmark too. It says drink good coffee, read good books. My favorite thing ever. I love these bookmarks. I, I have a collection now and I'm not mad about it. These are amazing. These are the only bookmarks I want to use. So Sebastian, thank you so much. I really appreciated it. It made my Valentine's Day special. So yeah, um, that is the video. Thank you for watching you guys. And I am going to make a plan and continue to try to upload two videos a week, but I can't guarantee what days they're going to come out that's okay. I do have a plan for March that's gonna like make it fun. So it, it, it'll be fine. Um, but I'm just like keeping you in the loop. Yes. At the end of March, I am also going on a work trip. Once again, <laughs> I'm going to a new different province that I've actually never visited before. I've been in its airport, but that is it. I'm going to Alberta. I don't need to keep it a secret. I'm going to Alberta at the end of March and I'm really excited. <laughs> but I'm gonna be gone maybe for a week. We'll see. I actually don't know how long I'm gonna be gone yet, but I'm gonna be flying there. So I won't be able to bring like a ton of books, but I can read on my, I can read eBooks, that's fine. But just so you know. Okay guys, that's everything. Thank you for being here. I will see you in my next video. Bye.